G'day, Mark here at Heron Forbes Machinery House. Today we are going to talk about some of the features of this BM22AD industrial milling machine. This machine offers great travel. For example, it has 590 millimetres in the X axis, 295 millimetres in the Y axis, and 380 millimetres in the Z axis. One of the great features of this machine has a 240 volt, 15 amp, 3 horsepower heavy duty motor. Also fitted with a 3 axis counter digital readout with X and Y scales. The control panel and DRO is mounted on a arm here that swivels, allowing you to position this in a more comfortable position when you're operating the machine. Now the control panel consists of a reverse stop and forward spindle switch, a power up button, an emergency stop button, a coolant on and off button and a light switch on and off button. This machine is fitted with a clear safety cutter guard, adjustable in the vertical position and locked away with this locking nut. Also attached to this is an electrical micro switch which automatically cuts power to the machine in the event of opening this guard just like that. This machine has a 30 NT spindle taper, also known as a 30 International. It's an 8 speed machine with a 4 speed belt system and a high and low gear ratio to actually achieve the 8 speeds. Just going to demonstrate how to change the speed on this machine by simply undoing this cover, getting access into the belt, loosening the nut, for this purpose we already had it loose, uh, moving the motor over and then simply by just rolling over the belt into the pulley speed that you require. Retensioning the belt, locking it up, securing it with a spanner, and there we have it. And importantly to close the guard again. Now that we've changed the belt speed up here, let's turn the machine on and see how far she runs now. But before we do that, always safety first. Power on and in forward. It's quite running slow. So let's, let's put this into a high speed and let's see what happens now. Now simply by doing this is engaging this lever here into the new gear, done like that. This lever over here also engages into the high speed and before switching on it's very important to rotate the spindle to make sure the clutch is engaged. And you'll hear that click, that ensures the engagement is on. Close the guard, power on, and forward again. Oh, before you do that, emergency stop. <laughs> okay, I'll demonstrate using the mechanical spindle brake. Firstly, what you need to do is actually turn power off and then apply the brake. Because this is not electrically, it's only a mechanical spindle brake. So to do this is simply switch off and lever on. Just do that again, switch off, spindle brake, and you can see how quickly that stops. This hardened and ground quill, 85 millimetres in diameter, has a travel of 127 millimetres, as you can see all the way down here. Fitted with a manual stop that can be set by screwing up and locking in position. Also attached to this while the machine is running is a automatic quill feed, which I'll demonstrate. Now to activate this, it's simply by using this lever here, which activates the gearing for the feed to come down. Now we have this set up at a 40 millimeter depth stop, which will automatically cut out the feed. Now this is actually going in the down mode and then we'll reverse it and show you in the reverse mode. So to activate, simply the lever, and as you can see, it's automatically coming down and reducing your drill depth. Now once this reaches here to your depth stop, which is set, it'll automatically cut the feed out. Just like that. Okay, now to actually make this spindle feed in reverse, we remove this handle. As you can see, it is actually turning clockwise. Now to make that anti-clockwise is simply by pulling this lever in and out to change that direction. So in this case, we will pull it out and it should go anti-clockwise. 
as you can see now it's going anti-clockwise. Come down here, activate the feed lever. As you can see now it's going up in reverse. Now the spindle is retracting back up and when it reaches the automatic stop, depth stop at, at home position, it'll automatically cut the feed out. Just like that. Now this has a hand wheel, as you can see here, which enables you to manually wind the quill up and down. Now to do this, you need to disengage the actual drive mechanism that drives the automatic feed system, and it's simply by disengaging this lever and I'll show you just that simple like that in and out. Now we engage this lever and now we can actually manually wind the quill down as you can see or in reverse by anti-clockwise. So that puts it in manual mode. This automatic quill feed has a three speed selection lever here in millimeters per revolution. Now as you can see 0.076 millimetres per revolution, 0.038 millimetres per revolution, and the coarsest one down here at 0.152 millimetres per revolution, and it's simply by moving the lever into the area required. Some other great features on this milling machine, it offers a universal head that allows you to tilt forward and back, left and right as well as having a turret that just enables you to slide in and out to reposition your spindle into a more appropriate position where you're actually milling your job. Now, this also allows you, this turret system here, allows you to rotate the whole head left and right and swivel right around to using the lug on the back in this position where you can actually have a slotting head attachment mounted on that and being used for slotting in this position. Or you may also run a horizontal attachment in here, driven off your spindle and mounted under here and that's just another way of having a horizontal spindle. Okay, to make life more simpler and easier and have a better finish on your jobs, it is fitted with a power feed unit that makes the table slide in the X axis, left or right, by simply activating this lever. Now, just to demonstrate, we'll quickly show this how this works. Now that is going in that direction, in the direction of the lever where it's pointing, or simply coming back in this direction. Now you can adjust the feed mechanism and adjust the speed of this. So the feed is adjusted by this dial. As you can see, the actual speed change as we rotate the dial. And slows it right down. Now it also has a manual override rapid switch, which is here and that will activate full speed as we deploy. And it all this does the same thing in the reverse direction as well. Now the X, Y and Z axes are graduated in 0.02 millimetres per graduation as you can see here. So as I rotate here, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8, 1 millimetres. Now that's in all the dials. Now with our automatic feed table, it is set up to have stops on either side of this unit. Now you can undo these and slide these along to have your feed cut out in an area where you need it. And it's simply by this activating that switch to cut out the power to the motor. Now over here we have slideway covers. Now this is the rear slideway cover to protect the slide at the back. And on the front we have a Constantina version to protect the front side. And also as you can see here, there is the scales mounted for the digital readout system. And your Y axis scale is here and your X axis scale is here. 
Now this hardened and ground table is actually quite generous in size. It is a 1,066 millimetres by 230 millimetres. It can handle up to 250 kilos of weight. Now it also has T-slots in here allowing you to clamp your job using clamp kits and riser blocks. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. As well as having these slots, it has coolant outlets, so when the coolant actually enters in here, it will flow back into the bottom, into the tank, allowing you to recirculate the coolant. Down here on the knee is fitted a one-shot lubrication pump, which is activated simply like so, and it squirts oil and direct it through these lines into the slides and keeping them lubricated nicely. As you've seen today, this 240 volt industrial milling machine has great features and it's backed by a 12 month warranty. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. To find out more technical information and detailed specification, please visit our website.